Hello and welcome to Weekend 101, where we catch up on the news making headlines other than Jacob Zuma's State of the Nation address. The DA's march on what was originally planned to be the Tully House made news even before it began as the ANC filed an urgent interdict at the High Court in Johannesburg to prevent the march from taking place. The ruling party said the opposition was armed and ready for war. ANC spokesperson Jackson Tembu said the DA are coming armed to the teeth with helmets, batons and shields. Despite his pleas, the judge dismissed the case and the DA took to Johannesburg city centre demanding real jobs. The drama didn't end there as ANC supporters approached opposition backers. Bricks were flung, stun grenades fired and four people in ANC t-shirts were arrested. Finding the perfect opportunity to make her opinion known, DA leader Helen Ziller called the ANC a violent organisation that can't be trusted to lead a democracy. Beyond all the BS, feelings about the success of the march are still up in the air as both parties are laying claim to victory. In other local news, Kosato Zuelin Zimavabi has threatened to sue the Trade Federation and an auditing firm after Kosato publicised damning findings against him. An auditing firm found irregularities regarding the purchase of a new Kosato building and the selling of the old one. The reports also made mention of a conflict of interest on Vavi's side after it was discovered that his daughter was employed by VMS, a company contracted by Kasata to provide technology for its headquarters. Vavi has said that there can be no worse form of defamation and has vowed to fight on behalf of every whistleblower in the country. In international news, French President François Hollande's trip to America has distracted the world from his very interesting love life. The trip instead reaffirmed the relationship between the US and France, especially after disagreements with George W. Bush over the war in Iraq in 2003 and the more recent NSA spying debacle. Arriving to meet the Obamas, Hollande's longtime partner, Valerie Treweiler, was not at his side after they split up following revelations that he was having an affair with a French actress. Unlike the cozy bond between Obama and Hollande, the same could not be said for the relationships in the art world. As the launch of the highly anticipated essay leg of the exhibition The Rise and Fall of Apartheid excited some, a screaming match engulfed others. The exhibition, which features 800 photographs narrating the story of essay's struggle days, includes images from the likes of Peter Magubane and Bob Gosani. Despite the anticipation of the international show reaching essay shores, an awkward argument between featured photographer Omar Bacha and the show's superstar co-curator Okwi Enwezo played out to those at the media preview. As if this wasn't enough, co-curator of the show and local academic Rory Bester decided to have nothing to do with the exhibition and pulled out. With so many highs and lows in life, one can only hope that this isn't the fall of such a magnanimous exhibition. Now, on a day like Valentine's Day, where is the love?